what is so what are some of the guidelines that are really important for this to occur so this starts before the babies are, are born um, the, you have to have interdisciplinary teamwork with maternal fetal medicine with the obstetricians and the if the obstetricians aren't on board with using antenatal steroids this does not succeed um, antenatal steroids there's a lot of literature on this between 22 and 25 weeks gestation reduces death, reduces severe IVH, reduces the incidence of neurodevelopment impairment 18 to 22 months. And importantly for why I'm talking about this, it increases survival from 18% to 39% at 22 weeks gestation. So it doubles survival. This is from this paper down here, published in 2018 by Aret et al. and, and uh, the JAMA Network Open. And that is one of the definitive papers that showed that steroids statistically make a significant difference. And it's one of the key things. If the OBs are not using antenatal steroids, it gets very difficult to have high survival at 22 weeks. And this has been studied um, for a long time. Now, there's never been enough 22-weekers to enroll in a randomized controlled trial so the randomized controlled trials obviously were 24 weeks and above with having adequate numbers. But when people went back and reviewed over the past 10 years, lots of data, they're showing here, there's three papers from 20, I'm sorry, two papers from 2011, two papers from 2016, and two papers from 2018, showing the important impact of antenatal steroids. Now, one of the things with antenatal steroid therapy Certainly, we all know it works above 20, greater or equal to 24 weeks. Improves lung maturity, again, reduces RDS, NEC, severe IVH, and mortality. So shouldn't everyone be giving it? And unfortunately, everyone is not giving it to, to mothers that are at risk of this delivery. You can see here, again, the Vermont Oxford Network data, median data, and the difference between Iowa and the Vermont, Network, Vermont Oxford Network, which is, again, like I said, over... Um, 1100, 1200 NICUs actually worldwide now. And you can say Iowa has always been very good at over 90% antenatal steroids in the 22 to 33 week population. And the Vermont Oxford Network used to be in the 80s and over 15 years, they're now 90s, but still needs to get higher. And so if we look at the infants where the American College of Obstetrics and Gynecology definitively say you should be giving any of the steroids. I was 99%. And there are places that aren't reaching that high since the median number is only 93%. And including the 22 and 23 weekers, I was at close to 98% and the bonds 91%. So this is a key difference. Any of steroids 